Delaware, a little geography lesson. We sometimes call Delaware the Eastern Shore of the Eastern Shore of Maryland. <laughs> but there was a woman running there named Stephanie Hansen. And Stephanie was hoping to hold a seat we had held just about four points before. And depending on what way that seat went would determine whether the Senate in Delaware was Democratic or Republican for the next several years. She won not by four points, not by eight points, not by 12 points, but by 16 points on election day. You saw it here in your own state with uh, uh, Karen Gaddis in Tulsa, Brooks Jimenez in uh, Oklahoma City, and there was one other one. Jacob Rose Cranston. Jacob Rose Cranston in his race. So look, uh, I could rattle, uh, rattle off a bunch of other examples. Kevin Cavanaugh up in uh, Manchester, New Hampshire. His own family thought, well, we think if Kevin does everything right, and we think he's done everything right, he'll be able to hold the seat by two points like, you know, the beloved and now the parted Democratic predecessor had. I said, oh, I think he's going to win by more than two points. He won by 13 points on election day. So, In our country, you know, sometimes, sometimes great nations make big mistakes, but the truly great ones correct them quickly. And as Americans, that's what we have the ability to do. Uh, and as a party, we need to act like a party again, and I think you're seeing that happening. It's happening at the grassroots level. But you know what? There's nothing wrong with your part of this country being the part that's most important to you. And there's no substitute for getting out there and talking to people breaking through that veil of cynicism, that sense that there's nothing we can agree about anymore as Americans. Actually, truthfully, there is. We all want our kids to get a better education than we've received. We want them to have better opportunities than we have had. And we understand that we have to work together in order to do those things. So, uh, so I know that with, uh, with, with, uh, uh, with the background, in mental health, and you know, I think our party really needs people with a background in mental health. Right? <laughs> Allison is someone who has been in the trenches. She's been fighting and working hard, listening, calling forward the goodness within individuals. Uh, she's been on the front lines and seen what this opioid e epidemic has done, and the pills and the suicide in our country. What a sad irony, huh? That we've accomplished as a nation, thanks to President Obama's leadership, the longest string of positive month-over-month -month job growth, and yet white male suicides in our country have never been higher. Why is that? You know, we're not going to make it better by cutting mental health, cutting services, cutting Medicaid, or cutting education once again. In my own state in the middle of the recession, instead of doing less for our kids' education, we choose, chose to do more. And we were willing to pay for it. We made our public schools number one in America for five years in a row in the middle of the recession. <laughs> Oklahoma, in the meantime, a great state, tremendous potential. Every child born with as much smart as any kid in Maryland has cut education funding more since 2008 than any other state in the union. I mean, you all followed that, that story about where Amazon wanted to go and locate, yeah. you know? And what they found was, well, you know, while, while, while coming to, to uh, Oklahoma would be okay in terms of certain bottom lines, it wasn't okay when it came to educated and highly skilled workforce, better schools so they could attract employees uh, to come and work. So look, bottom line says, progress is a choice. Progress is a choice. This is not my first trip to Oklahoma. I love your state. You are a combination of so much of the beautiful strength and diversity of geography and people and natural environment that is the United States as a whole. In my own state, they call Maryland America in miniature. In a way, so too is Oklahoma. And what you have that is not in miniature, though, are the hearts of your people. A large, generous heart. And that's what... Allison needs you to call forward in your neighbors. You know, they tried to get cute and schedule a special election a week after everybody else held their special election, yeah. right? Yeah. They hoped they'd fool us. They hoped they'd juke us. They hoped they'd convince us not to come out and vote. But people are coming out. You need to talk to your neighbors. Do everything you possibly can over the course of how many days we have, Allison? 
Three. Three. Three and a wake up, two and a wake up. <laughs> so look, this race can be very close. You don't know. I don't know. Nobody knows. The only thing we know for sure is that Americans are voting in these state and local elections in ways, especially for our candidates, they never have before. So let's speak to opportunity for all. Let's speak to the importance that every family has a job, that we reward hard work, that we educate our children to higher and better levels. Look, an inclusive economy is built on the skills of its people. You guys know that. Your parents and grandparents knew that. Nobody ever gave their kids a better future by making their own state or their own country weaker. You know? It's a common platform. It's a common platform for good. And these state races matter. So look, I, I feel like if I talk any longer, I'm going to take people off the doors or the phone. <laughs> so thank you for coming out. Allison, thank you for having the guts to go out there for Karen Patrick. <laughs>